Hi, it's Tony Tricilius with Cheap Scrapbook Stuff coming to you with this week's Hump Day Inspiration. And today we're working with a photo play collection um, that was released a couple months ago. It's called Little Chef. So I will show you the collection. First up, we have a sticker sheet. And then we have a sheet called Nom Nom. It's a, a journal card sheet. And the back side is a very pretty plaid. And then we have in the kitchen, perfect for baking, and a red plaid on the back. And then we have sweet stripe with a nice polka dot on the back. Frosting. And frosting bags on the back. Cookies. And uh, another take on a plaid on the back. Last one is called peanut butter and jelly and hot dogs on the back. Um, and then it's photo play, so we have a coordinating cardstock pack, 12 sheets, and an ephemera pack. So that is the collection, and now the layouts. So here is the first one. And what we did is we took frosting and used it for the background. And then we cut strips of the red in the kitchen and the blue polka dot, which is the back of Sweet Stripe. So we cut, um, I want to say they were three inch, two and a half inch, three inch strips, um, and two. Two for each side, put one horizontal, one vertical, or that's horizontal, that's vertical. Um, lined them up, and then I took a six inch square of sweet stripe and put that on the diagonal, kind of to hide the seams. And that was actually it for the layout. Um, to embellish the page, I used the journaling boxes. Um, everything is better with sprinkles. And then I used the cardstock sticker sheet for the titles, the little sprinkles, the heart cookies there. Um, for the photo mats, I used the back side of cookies, so the green. And then I did two journaling boxes, and to mat those, I used the back side of the journaling card. So that was it for the layout. Um, perfect for a lot of different, a lot of different pictures, a lot of different uses. So that's the first one. The second one. Looks like this. And what we did is we used in the kitchen for the background. And then we took one of the punches from Dress My Craft. Oh, I don't know what it's called, but it's that one. Um, and I took a few different sheets. So I took both sides of cookies, so the green and the cookie side. And I did like a six inch strip of the back side and punched one side. And then I did um, what appears to be about a two and a half inch strip, I'll measure it, and punched both sides. And then underneath that, I took two strips of cardstock, Tuscan Sun and Seafoam, and cut like two inch strips and set them back to back. So I only had to punch one side because the straight side is covered by the cookies. Um, so that was it for the layout. I took more of the journaling boxes. You are what you bake, so bake something sweet. Or you are what you eat, so bake something sweet. I used that one. I matted it just on white cardstock. And I used pop dots to elevate it. And then I took this really cute journaling uh, recipe card from the journaling card sheet and again matted that on white cardstock. And then for the photo mats, um, 
I reversed it. I put the white cardstock on top, and for the back, I used the back side of In the Kitchen, the red plaid. And then to accent along the bottom, some more cardstock stickers, which I matted on white cardstock. So that's it, pretty straightforward. I will put a description of what we did in the description section of the video and still shots on our Instagram page. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks. Make it a great day.